WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. The Michigan Supreme Court says a judge has no power to issue indictments in the Flint water crisis. The move wipes out charges against former state health department manager Nancy Peeler, former aide to Governor Rick Snyder, Richard Baird, and former health director Nick Lyon. The state Supreme Court says Michigan law can let a judge act as a one person grand jury to investigate, subpoena witnesses, and issue arrest warrants, but a judge cannot issue indictments or charges. If the trial does start with a one man grand jury, the defendant is entitled to a hearing first to argue there's not enough evidence to send the case to trial. The court opinion says in this case that didn't happen. The cases have been returned to the Genesee County Circuit Court for further consideration. Two people behind bars thanks to a state police helicopter. They say a stolen vehicle believed to be connected to a homicide left the scene of at least one attempted traffic stop. During the chase on Friday, the suspect's vehicle lost control and crashed into a parked vehicle in a driveway. The driver and passenger tried to run. The chopper tracked the driver until Flint police took him into custody. The passenger was also arrested. Happening tomorrow, the Saginaw City Council is calling a special meeting in an effort to avoid losing millions in funding to replace lead water lines. During last week's meeting, there was heated debate among city council members over who to award a contract to. A decision on the four and a half million dollars in state funding must be made by July 6th or that money disappears. Tomorrow night's meeting will be held at 630 in the council chambers. And now here's Chris with a look at our forecast. Maybe we've got another beautiful evening, but eventually clouds will increase and showers will move in, seeing most of that activity late tonight into the overnight time frame. Temperatures will eventually fall into the 60s and 70s as well, and I would say 50s at our coolest tonight. A lot of areas will be significantly warmer than we were last night. Your first born five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS also shows rain starting to move into the TV5 viewing area. Looks like it will stay in our northern counties through the first half of the evening and then eventually sink southward with a cold front as we go through the rest of the night. Your first one five hour by hour forecast shows most of the rain is going to be in those northern counties until later tonight, but it also looks like a decent shot for showers as we go into the overnight and early tomorrow. Eventually it does move out, so the rest of your Wednesday appears to be just fine and will actually get back into the sun. But let's hope this rain follows through tonight. We could really use a good round and it appears a lot of places will eventually pick up a few tenths of an inch, perhaps even as much as a quarter or a half inch. And then some areas if we get really lucky, could be around three quarters to maybe an inch. I would expect that to be more of the exception rather than the rule, though. Temperatures tonight, upper 50s to low 60s. Tomorrow would anticipate a lot of us to be in the upper 70s to low 80s, so close to average once again, with some areas checking in just below. Your seven day forecast shows temperatures near 90 again on Thursday, back to the 80s on Friday, and we'll stay there through the rest of the seven day. Not a bad holiday weekend, at least locally. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.